Hey, I'm Joe with Inch Calculator, and today we're going to talk about how to convert miles to kilometers. I'll show you three different ways to convert, and one of them is so easy you can even do it in your head. Let's get started. Miles are a U.S. customary unit of measure equal to 5,280 feet. Miles are denoted with the letters MI. Kilometers are an SI metric unit of length used around the world to measure long distances. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, and it's denoted with the letters KM. All right, let's go through the first method to convert miles to kilometers. The first part of using this method is to understand the conversion ratio. The conversion ratio is the rate of miles to kilometers. The conversion ratio for miles to kilometers is 1.609344, since there are 1.609344 kilometers in one mile. To convert miles into kilometers, you can simply multiply the measurement in miles by 1.609344, since that's the conversion ratio. If you're anything like me, you'll probably need a calculator to do this. Let's try an example. Let's walk through how to convert 50 miles to kilometers. To get the answer, multiply the length in miles by 1.609344. So, 50 miles times 1.609344 is equal to 80.4672 kilometers. Although this conversion isn't difficult, you'll probably need a calculator. Plus, you need to remember that conversion ratio. There's actually another way to do the conversion from miles to kilometers that's much easier and doesn't require a calculator at all. There are three steps to using this method. The first step is to multiply miles by 1. Then multiply the miles by 0 0.6. Finally, add the two together to get the result in kilometers. Let's try this method to convert 50 miles to kilometers. Multiply 50 by 1. That's easy. The answer is 50. Then multiply 50 by 0 0.6. If we move the decimal point of each of these over, it's the same as saying 5 times 6, which is equal to 30. And finally, add 50 plus 30, which is equal to 80 kilometers. The result is actually pretty darn close to the actual conversion, which is pretty cool because we were able to do this in our head and without a calculator. Let us know what you think about this trick in the comments below, and if you found it useful, don't forget to like the video. Our final method for converting miles to kilometers is to use a conversion calculator like this one at inchcalculator.com. Easily convert any value if you're in a hurry, or stick around and learn more about the process if you have time. I'll add a link in the description for that tool and some other helpful resources. And that's how you convert miles to kilometers. We hope this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like the video. And check out this other video on how to convert kilometers back to miles.